Hello friends, welcome back to LMSDaily.com. In today's screencast, we will see about one of the most popular and one of the most downloaded Moodle plugins ever, which is named as Custom Certificate. The Custom Certificate Moodle plugin allows you to create dynamically generated certificates which can be downloaded by the students and saved as PDF files for their future records. The plugin can pull different type of dynamic content from the user details like the course name, the course grades, the user name and lot of other information which we'll cover in this screencast. So let us show, let us see how you can use this custom certificate plugin for your Moodle site. You can download this custom certificate plugin from the plugins repository and I have shared the link in the description section below. And once you are there, you can just click this download button and I will show you the rest of the process by downloading this plugin and then showing it on my local Moodle development website. So now I have downloaded this. Let, let me go back to my Moodle site and install this plugin. So I am logged in as a site admin here. Now let me install this plugin. So I will go to the plugins and then install plugins page here. I will just click on choose a file, upload and then browse and then I will pick the file which is downloaded not just now and then I will click on this install plugin from the zip file. It will go through some certain checks before installation and let us click continue for the process to complete. And let us click on upgrade Moodle database now. So now as you can see we have different items of this custom certificate are installed and then let us click continue here. So now we have this custom certificate plugin installed on our Moodle site and these are the new settings coming for this new uh, plugin. So now let us click on this save changes. If you forget to change the settings uh, on the previous page, just uh, don't be worried because you can change these settings anytime by going back to the plugins page and then under the activities, uh, you will see this custom certificate here. So here you can just click on this custom certificate settings page and you can change these settings uh, in the future also. So for this demonstration, let me give you a brief description about these settings. The first setting allow verification of all certificates if this is enabled then any person and they can verify the certificates by going to this link which will be changed according to your domain name and then they can verify that if the certificate is a valid one or not. Then the next option is for designing the certificate to show the position of X and Y. The next is to verify the certificate. So this will open the link to verify page. The next one is about the management of the template. So you can also create different type of templates for different courses or different course categories and use them according to your own requirements. You can also upload the images uh, which will be uh, which will be available to the users as a certificate. So you can also directly upload the images here. Now we have different values for the activity settings. So these settings are available for each course whenever a co uh, custom certificate activity is added in a course. So these will be default settings uh, which are appearing on that specific course. So first of all you can see that there is a setting named email students. So you can choose either to yes. So this cert certificate will be sent through email to the students. And you can also mark a copy to the teachers also if you will select yes in this email teachers field but I will leave this for now. And if you would like to include any other you can mention the email address in this field. And then as we discussed uh, allow anyone to verify a certificate you can choose yes if you want a, a certificate to be specifically verified by anyone. And then you can mention the required minutes in a course. So if a user has a spent enough number of minutes in the course, then only he will be able to get this certificate. You can mention the number of minutes here in this field. 
you can also prevent the certificate to be printed modified or copied by going um, through these boxes and you can just check them as and when required and then click on this save changes button so now we have installed the plugin on our Moodle site and we have configured the settings now I will go to a course and add a custom certificate activity and then edit the certificate so let us go to any course so now I am on the course page and let me first turn on the editing mode and now I am on the course with editing mode on let me add the activity under topic 2 and then choose the custom certificate activity here now you need to give this custom certificate a name here so let me give as course completion certificate then you can give a description to this certificate here now let us discuss about the settings uh, under this options section here so you can see that most of the settings are mainly the one which we just discussed uh, during the plugin configuration few minutes before so you can email different persons here you can allow anyone to verify the certificates and then the require required minutes in the course then the protection for printing or modifying or copying you can also choose this delivery options either to send the file directly to the browser or you want a forced download so you can choose anything here and then you can also force a specific language for the certificates uh, here so you can choose either english or any other user lang preferences language here the rest of the settings are uh, pretty common to every other plugin so i will just leave them for the time being and then click on save and display so now this is added on our course page this custom certificate is added on our course page but as of now we do not have anything added to the course certificate image so now let us go to this edit certificate and add our template to this certificate now under this edit certificate you can give it a name once again you can define the width and the height of this certificate kindly note that as of now this is mentioned as 210 and 297 which denotes that it will be having a vertical orientation of the certificate if you are willing to have a horizontal certificate uh, like this then you need to just swap these values to 297 and then 210 you can also define the margin on the left and right uh, but it is not mandatory so i will just leave it as zero then you can just click on this save changes to save the values which we have just updated here now comes the most interesting part of adding the dynamic content on this course certificate you can see that under this drop down we have different elements mentioned here so you can add all these different type of elements on your course certificate you can add a background image you can add a border you can add a category name code course field course name date date range digital signatures of anyone then the grade or the image then you can also add a qr code student name teacher name user field or user picture as well as some custom piece of text on your certificate so now for this demonstration i will just add the course name and then you can define the settings for this course name uh, field so you can mention the element name under this then the type will be either to display the course full name or the course short name so let me keep it to the course full name for this then you can define the font here i will also leave it to times roman and then increase the font to let me say i want a higher font of around 18 and then you can choose the color for this text so let me say that i want this piece uh, this color of text then you can define the width or the reference point location here and then the alignment so let me keep this to default and then click on this save changes button here so now we have added our first dynamic element onto this uh, course certificate let me add one more as the student name the process is almost similar so let me do the process again with the same thing 
and then click on save changes so now we have two different elements added on our uh, certificate page but i have not i'm not sure that how it will look like so in order to see how your certificate will look you can just click on this reposition elements once you click on this one you will see the certificate which will appear to your students under this border which is marked in this rectangular square rectangular uh, figure so as you can see we have two different elements showing in the red color on the extreme left corner so let me drag them by this and then by this so this way you can see that we have the username displayed here and then the uh, course name displayed here now you can set a background image wherein you will have these fields let me say that a i certified that the user and then a blank field wherein you can just drop this value has completed the course in and then drop this value under my supervision and he is accredited with this xyz hours so this way you can just put the, your certificate for your students and then just click on this save and close now we have added our elements as well as we have saved our certificate now you can just go back to this custom certificate link here and click on this view certificate button so it will display the certificate how it will look like for your students so as you can see that we have only two fields under our certificate and it is looking like this now let me show you one more thing is how you can manage the templates for this custom certificate when we are here on this edit certificate page you will see a link as load template and under this we have a manage templates link now let me click on this manage template links and open it in a new tab and as of now we do not have any templates created so it is showing me that there is nothing to display so let us click on this create template button here and here you can define all the elements what we have just added and add them on this template page and then save them so when you have added this as a template it will appear for all the users to use that same template in their course which will help the teachers in saving their time and doing less of this type of jobs and instead more focus on their core job of teaching so they can simply click on the template name and use that for their course completion certificates you can also add any number of pages by clicking this add page button for the course certificate so if you want to issue a two page or three page certificate you can use any number of pages here and you have different type of user elements here uh, which you can pull for creating dynamic uh, certificates and i think that is it pretty much we have covered most of the things now let me show you how you can verify the certificates so let us click on this verify certificate link and here uh, basically this link will be open to anyone whenever uh, you have choose this certificate to be verified by anyone across the world which will make this page uh, open for all the users and then here under this field the user will come and mention the code written on the certificate and then click on this verify so it will show whether the certificate is legitimate or valid or it is a invalid certificate so this is how you can use this course completion sorry this uh, custom certificate plugin on your Moodle site if you liked this video please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon for our youtube channel and it will really help me to create more engaging content for you in the future thank you very much for watching this video